Hello, hello! So, I have gotten a lot of questions about how I do my salt leaks. These are um, some of the salt leaks that I have uh, ready to go out. Um, I don't know, they seem to... It seems to work. This one is just um, watercolor paper. These are Trivial Pursuit cards that I have redone and uh, you can just see them. So what I like is that whole look of them. Um, if I could get you right there, I would have you right there. So um, I, can you see I like the um, scripture behind it. I like that you're, you're actually giving out scripture. So I like that. So these are all um, some of the ones that I've done. I'm in this kind of whole world of a heart, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Um, I don't like that one, but I will redo it. So, um, see how I, I love that scripture. Now, it used to be, these are the cards. These are these bigger cards, you see. So, I go to wherever, and um, I find old cards. I found, like, a whole box of Trivial Pursuit, like, for two dollars at a garage sale fabulous so I'm going to show you what I do with these and then also I'm going to show you that these are um, boxes um, just old like you know like rice boxes and cracker boxes and boxes boxes and I cut them up and I um, paint them and actually I can tell you this was a pop tart box I can still see the pop tart kind of shining through there this one you can see there was something was something for breakfast. Collect codes, earn rewards. Um, you can just kind of see it shine in through there a little bit. Once you paint them or do whatever on them, nobody's going to see any of that. Here, I can see there's cholesterol or something. This is the um, food calories and all that there. So you, clearly these are just pieces of boxes that I cut. I threw in scraps and, I, and I've got them ready to go. Um, here, these two were boxes. That one actually still has the um, cut in the uh, box lid there. You can see that um, kind of so that. And these are all just cut down to size. Um, this I've got a hole in it so that it could be a rib ribbon, ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to share with you my um, journey on doing this whole cardboard thing. So I'm going to say to you that this takes forever to gesso it um, and gesso is, is just like it sounds. It's G-E-S-S-O. Um, this is Betty Schupman's but gesso that was from um, our Encouragement Cafe weekend. I don't get this gesso usually. I, I, I'm much cheaper than this and go for just any kind of cheap gesso. Liquitex tends to be a little bit more expensive, so um, go Betty. Uh, but this is how you spell it, G-E-S-S-O. Can you see that? Can you see the gesso? So that's, that's what it is. And all that is is the white primer that is um, on your canvas when you buy it. That white stuff, that's gesso. So it covers everything. And then if you're in a journal or you're somewhere and you need to have like a little bit of a white spot that you want to write on, you can use gesso. So that's how I've done these. Um, and here what I tried doing was I, I call my under papers, my undies, you know, the paper that, that is under whatever you're working on. So here I took those undies and I just collaged them onto a cardboard board. And that is how I'm here with these. So this is what a gesso sheet looks like. You see, this already has like two or three layers of gesso on it. And I can see up here, Nature Valley. I can still kind of make out what it was. So, you know, I just don't have time to gesso and for to wait for it to dry and blah, 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 blah. So, I'm going to share with you. This was just a piece of um, watercolor cardboard. So, I just, it was just a perfect little size. So, I just drew a little face and I'll put a little scripture on there, color in the back, and, and that's a salt leak. It's that easy. So, let me show you what I'm doing now. I leak, like, like, I leak. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem, ma'am. But I like matte gel. Um, I don't like Mod Podge. I don't like how sticky it gets. It just kind of bothers me. So here, I will take the um, matte medium, which is, I'm going to have to get a new one, and I'm just going to put it on my card. You can see, right? So here, I'm just going to get it on my card. And 
then I have Bible pages, and I like this version. It's called the Hope version. Here's Hope. Um, and what I like about this, when I get these two, they're, they're very inexpensive. Um, so I just buy them so that I can use them. So here, up here, it says Jesus calms the storm. I like that. I like that. It says that, and that could be part of a salt leak for somebody. So there, I locked it on there. I can then, well, what I could do is just bring that right around and then just cover it front and back. So let's say you don't have matte gel medium, right? Um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, you can get it at AC Moore, you can get it, gosh, goodness, you can get it online, you can get it at Amazon. It is, everybody, everybody has it. It's not a big thing. It's just like paint with no, um, with no color in it. You can use Elmer's glue if you put it in a little bucket and kind of just water it down a little bit. That will work just great and it will leave you with um it'll leave you with a matte surface mod podge it, it just gets so sticky and shiny and blah. um i don't like the way it works so here now i'm just going to take it and get rid of the extra now see right here i have just a little bit left but that'll get covered up by paint and that's just fine and then look at that that is much easier to work with now then, um, then having to work with all this gesso and, and work that hard at it. So here, I'm just going to get these on there. I do put a, a fair amount of the glue on because that's all that matte gel medium is, is glue. I remember when I first started, um, the 5,000 fed. Thank you, Lord. How appropriate is that? Because we've got 5,000 women that we are trying to um, get salt leaks made for, for the Encouragement Cafe um, conferences that are coming up. So yay God that that is one of the ones that I pulled. So here I'm gonna rip and rip. And look, I ripped it bad, but it is all right. There is no wrong because this is just a covering. It's just a layer. It's no big deal. I'm gonna go this way so that I get that Bible reference up there. Um, I could come this way so that I keep that Bible reference up there. Let's do it this way. Right here, because I have that little bit of a lip over here, I can just kind of get this over. Okay. So there, that is um, two cards prepped. So now I will just let those dry and um, I will come back and we will do the next step on them. So you're ready to go with whatever you have in your house. You can start this. If you have Elmer's glue, I just want you to put in about um, that much glue and just like that much water. So you're just gonna water it down a little bit like so that it's like sweetened condensed milk. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. Like you want it to be a little bit more fluid than when it comes out of the bottle, but you don't want it too watery because then it does, it loses its sticky stickiness. So just a little bit thinner, not much. Um, so you can use, um, oh my gosh, you can use scripture. You can use, um, construction paper. You can use newspapers. You can, magazines will have a glossy edge. So I probably would not use them. Like you want like flat kind of papers that, that you can cover them with. Um, if you don't have Uno cards and you don't have Trivial Pursuit cards, you've got boxes. Everybody has boxes in their house. Cut up your boxes and start smacking some, um, flat paper on top of them. That is your job. Um, and I will be back to show you what comes next. Thanks. Bye.